You've heard about all the great places that I've talked about on the Gainesville side of Lake Lanier from Flowery Branch, Gainesville to Brazelton. Now I've got another one coming for you and it is Coming Georgia, coming right up. Coming Georgia is an awesome place and community which is located in Forsyth County, which sits on the southwest end of Lake Lanier. It is part of the Atlanta metropolitan area and it's wildly populated by people who work in the city, but choose to live in the suburbs and commute into work as it's only about 39 miles from the heart of Atlanta and 15 miles from Alpharetta. Coming itself, it's not that large of a city. I mean, it only has a population of just under 9,000 in the city limits and it has a total area of just under seven square miles. The city in the area of Worsett County has experienced a ton of growth over the last few decades, and it's quickly transforming into Metro Atlanta's next suburban hotspot. You could even say it's pretty up and coming. Come on, I know that you saw that one coming. It is a very diverse area and it's growing as I mentioned before. So don't expect that smaller population to stay that way for long. So what are the pros and cons of Cumming, Georgia? Let's start with the pros. For starters, the location is awesome. Parts of Cumming actually sit on beautiful Lake Lanier, which means that you have easy access to the lake from almost anywhere in town. And who doesn't want to be on the lake? If this is your first time hearing about Lake Lanier, check out my channel. I've made a ton of videos talking about all kinds of living on the lake, you have to check it out. Despite the fact that it is a city, Cumming has a lot of great parks and public outdoor spaces, both on the lake and in other parts throughout town. In fact, you can go hike at the Sawney Mountain Preserve for some beautiful views, and I've taken that hike before, and it is so great. It's a great easy hike to do, and it gives you, like I said, incredible views. Another huge plus to the location is the close proximity and easy access to Georgia Fort which will quickly take you straight into Atlanta and it's a road that you're going to utilize often. Like we talked about earlier, this is really a popular area for those who work in Atlanta but don't want to live right in the city and need an easy commute. If you saw my pros and cons of living in Flowery Branch video, this will sound very similar and it's another great city for people commuting into Atlanta or even Buford. Buford is another suburb with easy access to both the lake and Atlanta. All of these towns all have a great location, but coming definitely feels like an extension of Atlanta. So if Flowery Branch or the Beaver area feels a little bit too quaint for you, coming might just be the right fit. Another great feature of coming is the shopping and restaurants. There's no shortage of either of those things in coming. In fact, coming has what I would consider the Mecca, a super target. You know, the kind that has all the beautiful lit up displays in the cosmetic area. It's got the groceries. It's, you know, it's like you're going into two different stores, but in one. Super targets are rare around here. And they also have you know, a great display of home goods section where you can buy all the pillows, all the fake plants, everything that you would need. If you can't tell, I really love going to this Target and it's something that anytime I'm in the area, I swing by to check out. So anyways, the shopping in coming is great and fantastic. There are several different shopping strips with everything from Costco to Walmart, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, all the big stores that you would need. And they even have this really amazing place called Lakewood 400 Antiques Market. It's only open during one weekend of the month and it is a great place to go and browse building after building after building of antiques. And you can find some really amazing uh, things for your home. And it's just like a great way to spend a Saturday morning. You have to check it out. So besides the big box stores and chain restaurant, Cumming also has a really cute downtown area with more unique restaurants and small businesses. Something that you might be a little surprised to find in a city like Cumming is the City of Cumming Fairgrounds. So every year in October, there's a huge fair with all the fried foods and rickety rides you can think of. And this draws massive crowds of people from all over North Georgia every year. It's a huge hit, definitely something to check out. The fairgrounds are also used throughout the year to host many other events like a rodeo and then there's a Christmas festival and Easter egg hunts. And they even hold a huge 4th of July celebration 
and an event called The Taste, where tons of vendors come in with their food trucks, there's live music and competitions, the whole nine yards. All of these events help coming feel like a good old small country town, despite the fact that it's a booming metropolitan area. And a little fun fact for you country music fans, Zach Brown of the Zach Brown Band was born and raised in Cumming. How about that? Something that I can't fail to mention when talking about Cumming is the awesome schools. As a former teacher, I know how important schools are to families and Forsyth County schools are rated number two best school districts in Georgia according to niche.com, which is a great tool for researching schools. Forsyth County Schools also has a 94% graduation rate, which is pretty great compared to the state average of 84%. So although I mentioned earlier that Cumming is not that big of a city, there are a ton of homes for sale in the area currently, and a vast majority of that is new construction. And definitely one of the pros of being in coming is that you have the opportunity to look at a lot of new construction homes. However, that can be a con because there are not a ton of resale homes in coming. And that leads me to the first of these cons. Let's talk about coming and the price of homes. Home prices in coming are pretty steep. Whether you're looking at new construction or resale, and if you're looking at lake homes here, you're definitely going to pay a pretty penny to live on the lake. So if you picked up a house from coming and you moved it somewhere, let's say on the other side of the lake in Oakwood or even the Gainesville area, the price would drop significantly. So coming has great schools, a great location, a great economy. All of these things together are going to combine for um, causing to have to pay for a higher price for homes, but Obviously with that comes some of the benefits as well. So not only are home prices higher in coming, but so is the overall cost of living. On a scale based on the US average of 100, the cost of living here has a score of 116, putting it 16 points higher than the national average. That is one of the highest levels in the state of Georgia. And if you saw my cost of living video for Gainesville, you know that's a huge difference whenever you're comparing Gainesville, which comes in 26 points lower. That is a massive difference. And the majority of that higher number comes from housing prices, which sits at a score of 144 compared to the Georgia average of 80. And then, you know, obviously the US average is 100. So though it might sound like the cost of living is outrageous, it's actually significantly lower the majority of the areas immediately surrounding Atlanta, like Brookhaven, which ranked at 144 and Sandy Springs at 137. So these numbers feel heightened when compared to Gainesville area, but that is mainly because the cost of living in Gainesville is so low. And when you compare the cost of living in coming to somewhere, let's say in, in California, you realize that is pretty low. And so depending upon where you're moving from, it might be super low to you or it may be really high. It's all relative. And one of the reasons that home prices are so expensive in coming is because it's a, such a great commuter town. The areas of Alpharetta and Roswell are a popular place for people in coming to go and work, and it's an attractive suburb, but the home prices there are very expensive. In comparison, coming, it's only 15, 20 minutes away, and it provides so much more home for the money, even though relative to other towns in the similar area, coming is more expensive. So another con to coming is the traffic. So with 400 being a huge connector to the city, there's no doubt you're going to wind up in commuter traffic during rush hour. Northside Hospital is also located in Cumming, and that's a huge pro there, by the way. Tons of great jobs um, and healthcare offered at that hospital, but that's definitely gonna add to the traffic. And just like any suburb in Atlanta, you're going to have traffic on and around the interstate, which is where most of the shopping and stores are located, which then also increases traffic and you know how it is. There are of course some parts of town where traffic is not that big of an issue, but of course, if you want to be in a city, you're going to have to have traffic. So coming is definitely a really cool part of North Georgia. It's beautiful stately homes close to the city with you have some small town country charm around, you know, at the fairground and the antique mall. And there's still some you know, really great festivals that happen every single year that make it feel like a small town, but giving you some really great big city luxuries and putting you very close to Atlanta and bigger towns like Alpharetta and Roswell. So what do you think? Do the pros outweigh the cons here? Let me know in the comment section.